Hi, this is Nicole from Adaptation Station, and this is a product preview of my Weather and Weather Tools Adapted Unit. This unit originally came out in 2016 and was updated in 2018 to expand the product and provide you more opportunities for your students to work on these skills. The first thing you get is a simple how to get dressed book. This is a great book to just look at basic weather concepts and help students figure out what clothing they should wear. It's a very functional way to tie science into some of those foundational skills that they need. The next book is Matching Weather. So this is introducing students to some of the different weather concepts we might see as basic as sunny, rainy, snowy, going up through tornado, hurricane, really covering a lot of concepts. And then there are the pictures that they'll put into the book. If your students need a little bit more of a challenge, they can use the book to describe the weather. So it provides a definition of what these different types of weathers are. And then they're still going to match those pictures. It just allows you to get a little bit more in depth into these concepts. This is a newer product. This is the notes. If you use any of my other units, you know I love my guided notes. Level one is meant for my students who are just at that tracing level. So they'll learn those vocabulary terms. They'll be able to color a picture. And it's got the tracing support right there so they can use a marker or a pencil and go right over the gray text. Level two allows them to fill in this word. This is great for your beginner writers. So maybe they can't write the entire definition, but they could fill in snow on this line allows them to take notes at a level that is appropriate for them. And then level three is for your students who can write the entire definition on their own. There are also clip cards. So for clip cards, we're going to match the name to the type of weather. There is yes, no questions to really solidify if they understand the name of the weather and what it looks like. And there's matching, which is another great way to get some of your lower level learners involved in identifying the different pictures that represent these weather types. There are the file folders. These were in the previous unit, so you might be familiar with them. There are a couple of different versions. The worksheets are new as well. This one has them match pictures to definitions. There's also just matching the picture to the name if they're at the identification level. This is another type of matching. This one, instead of cut and paste, is using a pencil to draw lines. Here are a sort. This one's a little more, more challenging because they're going to have to figure out which types of weather are hot wet and cold and then there's some color coding so up here they'll see how to color code and then they'll come through and color all their pictures using that code and then to finish weather there's a simple weather lab that you can do for the weather tools there's an adapted book where they're going to learn the pictures and definitions and match the pieces in these are the same file folders from the previous set, so you might be familiar with those. Here are the same types of guided notes. This one is for the different weather tools. There are not as many weather tools, so this part of the unit is a little bit shorter. They're the same clip cards, so matching the name, answering yes, no, and then matching picture. And then a couple of worksheets for this as well. I hope you found this video preview helpful. Enjoy.